Good morning everyone, happy Saturday, how are we all? How are we doing? Are we surviving lockdown? If we're not, why not? Chat to me, everything's gonna be fine. Today I have filmed a makeup collection. It's not all my makeup because some of it is in there and to be honest, <laughs> I can't be bothered going through that. No, I'm not putting myself through that mental stress. I'm sorry, but it's not happening. So I just showed you what's on there instead. It is not all that clean because I used a lot of it this morning and I was not going to re-clean it. So I just kind of talked you through. I didn't go through every single product because that would have taken ages and it would have just bored you half to death. But yeah, that's what I filmed. I hope it's gone okay. I'm really sorry. I've, I've said this a million times, but I'm so new to this. So please bear with. I really hope that you guys are doing okay and hope you enjoy this video. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go over there. Okay, so this is my dressing table. It is a wee bit mucky, I do apologise, but I do my makeup on it, so it's going to be mucky, let's be honest. I don't really know where to start. I'm probably going to start with brushes. Again, I've not cleaned them all because I've just used a lot of them. So I'm not going to go through every single brush because that will literally take me hours. But Morphe E4, which is what I use for my bronzer. Zoeva buffing brush for my foundation and then I've got Real Techniques, the things come off the thing, things come off the thing, Real Techniques foundation brush but I use it for powder. I've just got this random brush that came in a set that my sister got me which I use for my blusher. What else have I got in here? I've got this Zoeva eyeshadow brush but I use it for highlight, look at my nails, but I use it for highlight. I just think it puts the product on better. I've got my wing liner brush by Zoeva, which I use for my eyebrows. And then I've just got loads of like different foundation brushes. Foundation brushes? Eyeshadow brushes. Some that are unbranded. But NYX ones are really good, Zoeva ones are really good. I have loads of them. Yeah, and then back here I've just got loads of random brushes. This is stained because I use it to put my fake tan on. I've got a massive fan brush here, I've got a little fan brush. Like I said, all these pink brushes came in a set that my sister got me for Christmas, I believe. And then I've got a MAC stippling brush here, which again, sometimes used to put my fake tan on. Don't do that, it ruins your brushes. So yeah, that's my brushes. I've got them all in some white mugs because I couldn't be bothered getting a brush holder. And then I'm going to start with this side and then work my way over. This side is where I keep all my lashes. You will not see any lashes in here because I've got them on. But behind them I've just got eye lure, or however you spell it. Spell it? Say it. Um, I love those lashes and I love Primark Sosu lashes. They're amazing as well. And then aside from the lashes, this is where I keep all my highlight and stuff. Minus this, that should actually be over there, but we won't talk about that. So I've got the liquid chrome highlighting drops by Barry M. They're really good. You really do have to know how to use them or your face is just going to turn into a massive disco ball. I always say apply it with your fingers and then set with an actual powder highlight. This is just like a um, brightening face primer. It's just a wee one from Benefit. I'm pretty sure my brother and his wife got me quite a few Benefit stuff for my birthday one time and that came with it. And then I've got a MAC strobe cream, which is kind of, again, like a brightening, like, illuminating primer that I always put on under my makeup. And underneath that, we've got MUA Undress Your Skin. It's in iridescent gold, and it's one of the only other highlighters that I'll use, and I normally use that when I haven't got a tan and I'm a bit paler. Underneath, I've got the... I'll see if I can actually show you without ripping everything apart. I've got the Soph Highlighting Palette. This is really good. I actually got this in Dublin when I went away with my two best friends because I forgot my highlighter. I forgot my highlighter. How is that even a sentence? I never forget my highlighter any time, ever. And then in these drawers, in this one, I've got... Oh God, that is so... I'm so sorry. That's so mucky. But it's where I keep like my beauty blender and my... Um, that, the sharpener that I use for my lip pencils and eyeliners and stuff. And then I always keep Kirby Grips. I used to use them, but now I only use them if I have to because I'm blonde now and I now use these. 
and then on top of that i always keep my face wipes so that i can take my makeup off at the end of the day and then up here on this side here's me again hello you're probably sick of seeing me but i've got two masks that my mum made me for when i'm going out and about and then I've got my headbands that I use for doing my makeup, which is why they're mucky as well. I'm really sorry, I haven't even attempted to clean this. I can't lie, I didn't even attempt it. I probably should have, but I didn't, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and then, this is my favourite bit here, my middle bit. So I've got a couple of lipsticks, eyebrow gel. This is really, really good. This is the NYX eyebrow gel. I've had it for so long and it's still going. It's amazing, it's a tinted one. And then just got some like liquid lipsticks that couldn't fit into my drawers i've got this one by l'oreal it's in the shade off white 208 off white yeah i love this it's a really nice nude and then i've got stuff like my glitter glue for my glitter for my eyes <laughs> and my mascara my favorite mascara at the moment which is max factor lash crown that's amazing got my eyeliner in here which is nyx epic ink best eyeliner in the world i can't speak today i actually can't i can't speak so i'm really sorry i'm gonna have to edit so much of this out because i actually can't talk but i've also got like my lip pencils which i'm actually desperately needing to get some more because look how tiny they are <laughs> it's not good and yeah that's just kind of like i said like a bit of a mix mix and a match drawer and then in the middle is some of my lipsticks and lip pencils. So I've got ones from, again, NYX, 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 Max Factor, Colourpop. Can you even see that? I hope you can. This is a NYX lip pencil. It's a really beautiful, like, dark red, which goes with that really well. And then I've got my NYX so Soft Matte Lip Cream. I've got a gloss from Rimmel. I've got the Butter Gloss from NYX, this is beautiful. I've got a Barry M lip gloss, I've got the Plumpin lip gloss by Soap and Glory, this is amazing. And then I've got some nude lipsticks which are actually running out. This, if you follow Jamie Genevieve and you love her MAC lipstick, this is very close to it. It's 652 by L'Oreal and it's the only one that comes close to it for me. Nothing will ever replace Jamie G. And then I've got Colourpop lip pencil, Rimmel lip pencil, that's Mac Stone lip pencil and that's amazing if you want like a bit of a grungy nude lip. And then my L'Oreal pencil which I love as well. And then the top one, oh my god I can't open it, oh. honestly. Top one holds my foundations that I'm currently using. So I've got two shades of the Maybelline 24 Hour Superstay because that's my favourite foundation ever. I've got 10 Ivory and 36 Warm Sun. Warm Sun is for when I've really got a tan. Ivory is for when I don't. And then I mix them when my tan's starting to come off. I've got the Clinique um, Foundation and Concealer All-in-One. That is super high coverage. If you love a high coverage foundation, get going with that one because it's fantastic. And then I've got a really dark shade in the um, eraser concealer by Maybelline. Yeah, it says it right there, by Maybelline. I use this to contour and to warm up my skin when I've got a really, really dark tan. And then I've got the Evolution Fast Base Stick Foundation. I don't actually use this as a foundation. I thought it was going to be brilliant, but it doesn't work for my skin. It's a really beautiful foundation on other people, but it does not work for my skin in the slightest. I've got an oily mess of a face and that just doesn't work. It's too dewy for me, but I use it to carve out my eyebrows and it's perfect for that. And then I've got two shades of the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate concealer i've got c5 and c2 i believe yes yeah, c2 and c2 again for when i've got i haven't got a tan c5 for when i do c2 sometimes i carve up my eyebrows with but normally i use c5 and then i've got the infallible total coverage l'oreal foundation in golden beige this is again a really 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 high coverage foundation it's amazing and it just sits really beautifully on the skin and then on top is where i keep like my bronzers and my powders and stuff so i've got my hula bronzer at the back underneath it i've got their blusher as well dandelion blush and then i've got this blush from natural collection now to be blatantly honest 
I don't really love natural collection makeup. It's not the best, but their blushers is actually amazing. I think that's stunning. And then I've got a MAC blusher as well. This is in Eternal Sun and I actually use it as a bronzer. It doesn't look as warm on camera, but it is a really, really warm one. So I use it again when I've got quite a lot of tan on. And then I've got a mini version of my MAC Whisper of Guilt. That just sits on top there as well. And then I've got three mini lipsticks. These three mini lipsticks came in the wee silver bag that I now keep my earphones in. If you have watched my um, What's In My Bag video, you'll know what I'm talking about. But they're just three mini ones. It was a Christmas edition that came with that. And then I've got a MAC powder. It's a mineralized skin finish and it's in medium dark. That's it there. Again, it doesn't look that dark on camera, but it is quite a deep, a deep powder. I love it though. It's so smooth and on the skin and it looks really lovely. And again, MAC Whisper of Guilt. This is my big version of it, which I broke and had to glue back together. So that's good. I've just got another bronzer. This one's by Rimmel. Natural Collection Powder, which I actually quite like. A girl at my work gave me this because it was the wrong colour for her and it actually works really well for me. But then my favourite powder is Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is a translucent one. That's my favourite one of all time. But the Natural Collection one is really good as well. And then on the top here is where I keep some of my lipsticks. I've got three of my MAC ones here. I think this one's my Jamie Genevieve MAC lipstick. And then I've got this um, matte lipstick by NYX as well. And this is a really, really, really light one. And I use it just for putting in the center of my lips when I'm wanting a bit more of a nude lip. This MAC lipstick is absolutely stunning. That came as well with this Christmas collection. And it is just beautiful. Like it's this golden, I don't know if you can see it very well, it's this golden glittery one. I still am just trying to work out what kind of lip look to go with that, but that's absolutely beautiful. And then again, I've just got another nude lipstick, that which is close to the Jamie Genevieve one, and that's 930 Nude Embrace by Maybelline. Oh, I'm going to stand up. And then on the top here, I literally just keep like utensils if you will. So I've got tweezers, little eyebrow spoolies, um, or mascara wands actually, whatever they are. And then I've just got like my eyelash glue, I've got more eyelash glue in there. And yeah, moving on to this side is where I keep, so I've got like hair bobbles and scrunchies in that side. And then I've got my eyeshadows and like pigments and glitters and stuff. At the back I've got the Too Faced Chocolate Palette, which actually smells of chocolate by the way, just saying, it's absolutely amazing. In the middle there I've got the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. At the front I've got the Naked Cherry Palette. As you can tell I absolutely love Urban Decay so much. And then underneath I've just got a couple of Revolution Palettes as well, which are fab. And then I've got four, five glitters. I've got MAC 3D Black and then I've got MAC Reflex Gold, which is like a white glitter, but then it reflects gold. It's absolutely amazing. I've got my NYX um, Eyebrow Pomade, Dazzle Dust by Barry M. This is kind of like a black kind of dusty glitter. And then I've got a pink glitter by Barry M as well. And then I've got my NYX pink glitter at the back. And then over this side, this shouldn't even be here. This is my shampoo ordinary serum that I pop on every morning. I've just got a wee cotton pad there, don't actually know why that's there. But then I've got my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, the best setting spray in the world. And then I've got my two, oh I've got another Clinique foundation actually. I've got my two Jamie Genevieve U Tan and Tone products. This has just run out. This is a tan and water, it's got CBD oil in it so it's really really good for your skin. And then this is the Skin Idol, it's like a body bronzer and it's kind of got a bit of glitter in it or like a glittery effect in it so it looks really really nice on the bod. And then in here, oh look at, see this is what happens when you spill nail glue on your dressing table. I need to repaint this thing. In here is a mess. So in here is just where I keep my extra bits. So I've got some more headbands here. I've got a wee makeup bag there. I've got a James Charles palette because it doesn't actually fit on my dressing table. I'm trying to open it. I absolutely love this palette. I've got these colours on today, the pink ones. 
it's absolutely stunning and there's me again hello but i keep that in there just because it's too big to go elsewhere and then i've got more powders and then also like i said headbands a sleek makeup palette this is the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint and it's absolutely stunning. I pretty much only wear that at Christmas time. I don't really wear a red lip very often. But I just keep like little bits in here. So like we've got another scrunchie, hair bobbles. We've got more glosses by NYX. Is that the same one? No, it's not. I was going to say, that's ridiculous, Abby. Yeah, more products by NYX in there. And yeah, it's just kind of where I keep all my miscellaneous stuff, if you will. That is my makeup. So sorry I haven't cleaned it, but what can you do? Hey guys, that is my makeup collection. Like I said before at the start of this video, it's not all of it, but we we won't go into that. There's there's just too too much to sort out, which I probably should have done before the video, but I'm not all that prepared. I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I just want to quickly say thank you so much for all your constant support regarding me and my channel. I really, really appreciate it. I always see people who like and comment and share and message me and it's it's so appreciated, it really is. If you like this video, please give me a like, comment, share, whatever takes your fancy. And if you'd like to join the wee fam that I'm creating over here on YouTube, then feel free to subscribe. We're a lovely bunch so far and we'd love to have you. I hope you're all doing okay and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye guys.